Hello everyone, welcome to the best show in the entire world, the ABS show. You're watching me on the TV, so go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And after the show, go on Instagram and follow us at the ABS show. Yeah. I just want to send a big thank you to everyone that keeps coming in here and watching yes. us. We really do appreciate it. But you can watch it by yourself. So go ahead and share, yep. tag your friends, mm -hmm. and spread the news. Yes. Okay? All right. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi. All right. So let's dig into today's topic. Yes, yes. Miss Spitfire, what are we talking about today? We are talking about a woman who was banished from her community on the account of witchcraft allegations. Oh. Yes. Yeah. She gives birth to her child on the road, and she had to nurture her child for three weeks by herself. Oh before being rescued by a charity organization. Oh. Mm. So the question of the day is, at what point should the line be drawn between religious beliefs and human safety rights? Hey. Okay, so this <laughs> continues. <laughs> so give me a little bit more. Where is she from mm. and what happened? What actually happened? Okay, so the woman is from a choir bomb, mm -hmm. um, which is kind of like the hub. That's the hub mm -hmm. of witchcraft allegations. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. Um, I thought it was Benin. No, hey, no, funnily, the Benin, they say they, they say that Benin people have that, uh, you know, they fly. possessed. But a quiet bomb is they have a higher rate of people being banished and uh, oh, excommunicated yeah. from, from their community. So, mm. um, a quiet bomb is where she's from, and she was uh banished. Mm. On, and I'm pretty sure a lot of times it's usually all this that religious leaders that lay these allegations, so? yeah, probably the one that had sex with 80 percent of. Baby. Ooh. Eighty percent of the time, it's always like a religious leader or a pastor that will say, "Oh, somebody in your family mm. is this." You have to, and they pray on the weakest person, the weakest link, or mm. maybe the one that falls sick the most, or mm. the child that um, that has that is bright, that is brightest in the household, or the one that is stubborn. They'll pick that one out, and then that would be the scapegoat. Mm. They say, "Oh, this person is possessed." The next thing is they, they kick them out of the com of the household, mm. even as young as two, kick them out of the household, out on the streets. Wondering because they said once you get rid of the person, your problem stops. Wow, wow. Yeah. barbaric. All right, so let's talk about this because witchcraft, um, it's been there, we've been there for mm -hmm. ages and ages and ages. And I, and I, don't, I don't think it's gonna go away because if it's possible for it to go away, we wouldn't be talking about it. It's mm -hmm. still there. My question is, why are the females like always accused? Of, what happened to the men? They can mm -hmm. be witchy. I'm not wizards. <laughs> wizards. <They're> wizards. <laughs> you know, wizards. I'm not I'm not a wizard, I'm not a witch, so I can't really go into depth of what it is. But for what I know, I know it's an organization and it's like a religion to some people. <laughs> That's what they practice. They practice black magic and things happen for them. Mm -hmm. My issue is why are we separating them from other religion? Why can't why can't everybody just live together? So if somebody's accused of being a witch, why are they sent away? Because I said that to say, um, in, in Ghana, in the northern part of Ghana, there's a whole witch camp. Okay, Gambaga witch camp. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really a thing. Where, when, if somebody accuses you of being witchy, or... Um, being witchy? <laughs> what? Yeah. Term? I, yeah, if somebody accuses you of being a witchcraft, they send you over there. You know what I mean? So it's, it's like, like they castrate you from society hmm. because they claim that you are... Concentration camp. Yes, yeah, because yeah. They, they, they're saying that you are a witch, and this needs to stop. Because it's been happening to our mothers, it's been happening to our um, great, um, great great grandmothers and mm. all of that. Children and especially too. when your husband dies. Yes. That's when the whole community want to attack you, uh -huh. you know, you for, for, for doing stuff like that. So we need to also watch that as well. Um, I also think it's, a lot of people, a lot of these women that are being sent there are mentally ill. Some of them are mentally ill oh, yeah. and they accuse them of witchcraft, witchcraft, witchcraft. Mm. you know. So we need to also watch that and uh, it's sad to see that a whole mother with a child has been kicked out of her community. Yeah. We need to do better. And flip side, in the US, they're celebrating witches. They have mm. conventions. Mm -hmm. yes. They're writing books about it. Yes. It is a huge deal if you're mm -hmm. a witch. Mm -hmm. It's a huge deal. What, what do you think, where do you think that is stemming from? I think that I think it's just about following the trends. Like, mm -hmm. you know, it's like it's trending to be a vampire, to be a witch, to be that. But it's so fun. I just don't understand. Which goes back to what you said in the last one, one of our episodes about education. Yes. Mm -hmm. Education. Mm -hmm. Like it's just really like how barbaric and how silly are you that you are putting somebody mm. on the street to suffer like that where's the father of the child mm -hmm. was he where, where what's going on and then she just like just just the fact that the nigeria even africa africa country they're still thinking about witches they're they're bigger witches they're called politicians yeah. mm -hmm. when you start wanting to excommunicate them mm -hmm. then we will see prosperity and yeah, life in our home no when i asked you where that yeah. is stemming from i wanted to yeah. know because who is preaching that witchcraft is bad because you said yeah. in africa it's like oh it's yeah. bad 
that, yeah. but they're here, they celebrate it. Yes. So then who is preaching? The pastors. The villagers, the village um, chiefs and, the, you know, even, pastors. Don't, don't you think it's the motive? Really just for, don't don't yeah. you think it's the motive that is preaching that witchcraft is bad? Because mm. back in Africa and in history, mm -hmm. there's, they, we have native doctors, right? Exactly. And there are certain people that are saddened by people's success. Mm. That's how they categorize them. And then those people visit those native doctors to pray for evil things to happen to certain kind of people. So when mm. those people are caught, they are called witches. Mm -hmm. You get my point? So that was how there's whole, this whole stereotype and negative impression Connotation, of a witch. Yeah. Because this side, the witches are not actually doing bad things to people. Mm -hmm. They're mm -hmm. actually mm -hmm. making their own people rich yes. yeah. and helping Absolutely. themselves yeah. in the society, in the government, in politics, and in, in, in entertainment. Mm -hmm. But in Africa, a witch, as it is said, does not want you to prosper. Mm. A witch wants you to suffer. Mm. But you don't have to be a witch to do all of those things. Mm -mm. Your neighbor can, can have that thought of not wanting you to prosper. Mm. You know, your sister can do that for you. That's why so, they call her a witch. Oh, yeah. you yeah, get my point? My sister's not a witch. I'm just saying, like, in Africa, when your sister is angry that something good is happening in your family and your in your life, She's automatically called. But have you? A witch. But have those you people hating on someone? You hating mm. on someone? It doesn't. That doesn't quantify you a witch. But that's what they say. This, I'm not. I'm this, not. I'm this, not standing for that. The allegations of witchcraft is not what you're. That's not. This one is. They accuse you of killing people in the household, sucking people's blood, and flying at night. Yeah. It's a difference. Yeah. But who's walking? Okay. And body cats, who's taking on body of cats and dogs They're and rats. Now. That is. But who? Who is flying? I've the never. Person, have you seen somebody fly before? I've no. never seen no, anybody no, no, no. fly. Oh, then what is the but, problem? Why are we still living in the dark? It, but it, I wouldn't lie. Like I wouldn't lie. When I was a kid, 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 in Benin, in Edo State, in Edo State, when I was a kid, in Edo State, in Benin, it even came on the news, and that was funny to me. But I was a kid. You saw a witch in on flying. We saw. We saw two ladies yeah. naked hanging on a transformer uh -huh. in the morning yeah. and people gathered down. They said they were flying to America to suck like blood. They <laughs> then their fuel, their, this spiritual, their spiritual gas, their spiritual fuel actually finished. Oh, the so, uh, so they needed like, to refill. But they couldn't get a refill. So they hung up there in the transformer. They were naked, squatting in the transformer. I saw so it. So couldn't that be mental health? Couldn't that be mental health that... Couldn't that be mental health? That while you were sleeping, yeah. somebody just, you know, that the, the wires in the brain did not, you know, is not working yeah. well. They, they decided to climb up, mm. right? Mm. And then the end goal is what you saw. Yeah. And then somebody narrated that story by saying that they were flying. Yeah. yeah you know they what I mean? So, so the, the, the thing is, we need to educate ourselves. We need to travel more. Read a book. Open up a book and read. And when you begin to know all this knowledge, you wouldn't, you wouldn't come up with stories like that. That somebody was flying and they got, sh you know, that person that made that statement needs to be in the, uh, in the mental health institution as well. <laughs> this, this, um, but your, also, what about they drink too much palm wine? Or they drink, you know, you drink too much palm wine. You go climb Transformer too. Yes. Right? Yes. Think but about it. Yes. Charlie, your, your, point, your point actually kind of mm -hmm. takes me back to an incident that happened. Um, oh, not another incident. No, no. Okay, it's not, it's not <laughs> about... You guys I mean, your point. Witches, don't be around Your point. It's not about so trees and things. Uh, your point brings me back to something that happened where a child had... Um, um, was convulsing okay. and they, oh they took the gosh. child I suppose taking the child to the hospital the parents took the child and this happened in my neighborhood okay. shout out to Cotton, mm -hmm. Lagos State Ikotuebe. they took the child to the to the pastor yes. and the pastor termed the child a witch so there they were in the church praying and flogging the child with oh palm, palm front and the child ended up dying because a child is convulsing. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to take the child, probably had epilepsy or something. You're supposed yeah. to take the child to the hospital. You're there saying the child is a witch and they beat the child until the child gave up. Mm. This happens oftentimes where you have kids that have medical conditions. Mm -hmm. You have kids that are headstrong, some stubborn kids, and they will beat them to a pop and turn the children witches. witches. Turn a wife that is not that, that doesn't want to conform to the norm, mm -hmm. be too subject, subdued mm -hmm. by her husband. Probably speak up when the husband is beating her. Say, you know what? I'm done. I'm fed up of it. He turns her a witch. And in our society in Nigeria, a man's word is final. When, you, when a man speaks, they listen to him mm -hmm. as opposed to a woman. Mm -hmm. So when he turns her a witch, what happens? They, the family gathers up, and you know, marriage, the union of marriage is a strong thing where family members have more say than the people that are involved in the marriage. Mm -hmm. So if this man's family come and say, this woman is a witch, my, my son said I'm a witch, they'll bundle you they won't even let the person to the speak. witch doctor. And the witch doctor, because he wants to sell market now, he mm -hmm. cannot tell you that he doesn't have powers. He will say that he sees that the person flies at night too. Mm -hmm. yeah. He'll say, yeah. well, it's not. Then, yeah. then you have <laughs> your... your <laughs> Yeah, so now you're termed, you're termed the witch. Then the next thing you know, you're banished from the you're, you're banished from the community. You're out on the streets, 
probably heavily pregnant like this woman was mm -hmm. and then you're you're out there now mm -hmm. you have kids so when you see little kids that are mal that are extremely malnourished roaming about there's a reason why mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. it, there's a reason why they're there mm -hmm. and then you wonder why can't they, why are people not helping them because they already have that stigma mm -hmm. that witch title mm -hmm. attached, attached to them to it. but it's quite um, unfortunate um, uh, there's two there's two i have two points to make like my grandmother, who went to church, she kept Catholic church early in the morning, 5 a.m., but she still went to the, to the doctor, doctor. Which doctor. She told me not to walk backwards because I was going to walk into spirits. <laughs> she was I was like, what is walking backwards? <laughs> so it's just so funny that even though like our, na like our native culture and religion is so innate, and no matter how much sometimes, she has a college degree, everything, mm. but you're still believing in the witch doctor. Mm. So which that one is the, the levels Why? to it? Why it's like a brainwash. It's like serious brainwashing Brain from... From childhood, but mm -hmm. I do remember something. I'm gonna ha sound like Timani now. <laughs> when I was growing like up in Yaba, there was a time that there were so many robbers. Like the robbers were robbing every house in Yaba, mm -hmm. every house. It all like every every house. You hear people screaming and whatever. But the lady that we um. Um, Mama Aki, who we um, rented a house from, had put something in the ground. Strong woman. I don't know what she put in the ground. Like mm. she had, like at the point when she had found out about, she put something in the ground. Awesome and the book. robbers, hey. left, they came to the gate, but they didn't come in. It was crazy. I don't, I don't know if I, I don't want to say that I believe it, but <laughs> it was crazy. They passed right by, and she was a wealthy woman because we were renting like the little small thing mm. and the thing. But it, they really didn't come into the house. Mm. So I don't know if it was just like when you believe in the, you tell the universe that something's not because you know the universe is very strong too. Yep. The universe gives you what you want. Mm -hmm. So if she believed it enough, the robbers didn't come. But how did they just pass her house and go to the next house? I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I'm going to tell that's you. My <laughs> own, which, that's my own witch story. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Just, just, like, like, just like all of you guys, yes. we all have our witch um, stories. Yeah. We right. all have about yes. supernatural. What's your own story? Please my, share. my own is yeah. Madame High Hill. Oh, <laughs> Madame High Hill. Lady Coy Coy. Lady Coy Coy. Madame High Hill. You know the story. Every every public school yes. it, students in, in Ghana they know this story. Boy, so the story. The lady's called Madame High Hill. She was a mean teacher, <laughs> and one day the student killed him and put him in uh, put her uh, placed yes. her in the cupboard in yes. the in the student cupboard. Yes. While they were doing that, she had on her high heel. It was red. I don't know if it was loops, but it was red. It was loops. <laughs> it was red. And then so every every year, once a year, she comes back looking for that high heel. Hey. And a student dies. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. So every year. So that's my supernatural story. But knowing what I know now, yes. I don't believe in none of those. Mm -hmm. and, and and it's it's all thanks to me traveling. Mm -hmm. It's all thanks to me Education. reading books. Mm -hmm. It's all thanks to me like educating myself. Meeting People. And that's what I want to get mm -hmm. out there, meeting people. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Stop with the group thinking. And we have that a lot in Africa. Yeah. Yes. We have that a lot in my country. Group it's like, thinking. oh, really? Oh, okay, then let me follow you. Yeah. you know, it must be true. Do your own research. Yeah. And that's mm -hmm. what I want to preach as well. But to answer your question, you said, um, at what point should we, line, um, draw, should the we line. draw the yeah. line yeah. between the religious beliefs yeah. and human safety? So yeah. what do you guys say, safety rights? She has a um, human right. Yes. What, what are they doing? What, what is the government doing? Yeah, what At happened? the end of the day, whether she was a witch mm -hmm. or not a witch, she's still a human being exactly. and deserves that right. She had so, a baby. Yes. So, what happened to this Okay, right? so now, um, well, a charity organization took her in. Okay. But as far as your question, what are the government doing? Well, mm -hmm. the government did have a couple of, well, I say safety zones for people that are in this kind of predicament where the you camp. get where you get um, <laughs> you, yeah. you get sent out of your community, mm -hmm. you know. And um, unfortunately, as they do with the ID, IDP, IDP camps, yeah. it's you know it's run to the ground. Yeah. It's not really it's not really a it's safe shabby. haven for you yeah, either. Right. It's dangerous. So at the end of the day, Sometimes you end up they finding yourself day. right. Yeah. So at the end of the day, you still end up finding yourself on the on the street. Not to mention the ones that get sold out, yeah. Yeah. the women that have kids and the kids get sold out into uh -huh. into a, a kidnapping, Baby you know, right. family. Yeah. Um, Mm -hmm. Human trafficking, the yes. ones that they get, they get chopped up and used for ritual and all mm -hmm. those stuff. It's yeah. more like a, it's a shopping center now for people that, mm. that for people that, that are into rituals. So mm. it's not really a safe haven, safe haven. Yeah. So then now my question is, if, if government is, if the government is aware that these things are happening in all the states, why not to put a very a better plan? in motion to help the people that are displaced, help people that, that are homeless, people that are being accused, or maybe take it one step further. 
stop them from banning people from the community. Yeah, yeah. 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 But that's what they think yeah. they are doing, though. By setting up these camps, like yeah. I mentioned, the Gambaka camp in Northern Religion, by setting up these camps, they think they are helping. No, they the are chiefs, the, the chiefs are thinking, okay, mm -hmm. um, they're kicking you out of your community, right? Or while we have a, a, no. a, this camp for you, go there and everything will be okay. My question is, do they graduate then? Do mm -hmm. they graduate from not being witch anymore and then join their the community? Society. My issues are the fake pastors. My issues there are the go. pastors False castrating prophets. these False people. Right. Tell it, how do you, once again, how do you go to church? And then uh, some guy tells you, or a man of God, God tells you that mm -hmm. whatever you are going through is your mother's fault. Your mother is, you know, is the cause of, you know, you're not getting a job or you're mm. not. And you believe that. I don't understand that. That's your mother right. that gave birth to you. She could have took you to school. You. She didn't want to have you. You know, there's a, there's a, there was a set of artists, a set of twins, um, Zule, I think. Zule. Not, is it Zule? No, Zule. Zule. Mamu, Zule. Mamu, Zule. Mamu, Mamu, Mamu twins. Mamu twins, they yeah. yeah. And they, for, years. For, for like 15 years, they didn't talk to their mother based on something similar. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. mother was accused of being a witchcraft a witch. by yeah. a pastor, and they cut all ties with the woman until she died. Yeah, wow. and after she died, um, twins and twins. Uh, oh, yeah, that's another twins. thing, too. Also, they don't a taboo. Twins, yeah. so, so, also, albi albinism. Yeah. If you're an albino, they do that, too. It's but they don't but I do want to say that there's some, I do know. feel like there's evil though. I mean, there's evil and there's good in this world, right? Yes. That's that's my belief, right? Yeah. That there's the good and the evil. Of course, the, you know, devil and God. Because because at one point, I don't know if you guys have ever had this happen to you. It happened to me when I was sleeping, but then I woke up, right? But something was holding me down. Pressing you down. Oh, that's pressing the sleep. Sleep something. something, yeah. something, I, something I, I don't. Yeah. yeah, I just. But is it, it was. Sleep it paralyzes it's not sleep you. apnea. No, sleep no, apnea no, is when you're waking you. up and it pa like literally I couldn't move. To the name. And then I did. And then I called out. You to probably God. ate too much and went to bed. And I didn't eat too much. You ate too much. Listen, listen. So Africa, Africa. Let me give advice. Let me give advice because that is happening. So she thinks it's witchcraft. I'm not saying witchcraft. I'm saying it's evil and good in the world. Evil was pressing you down. Evil was pressing me in the bed now. No, but Charlie, ah. there is evil in the world. There, there is, is, but that's evil. not evil. Let me give you Do advice. Do you You'll give me advice. Let me give you advice. Yeah. My Africans listen to me. If you don't want that to happen to you, <laughs> don't go to bed eating a bath. Fufu, cake, cake. <laughs> all those things are heavy food. And that's why you can't wake up. Not not lie. Lie. Not not lie. Go to bed with something like Go to bed with something like And not one more thing. And one more thing. My, uh, they, I think uh, my Ghanaians, you guys do this a lot. <laughs> you go to bed and you're having bad dreams. Don't wake up and drink Milo and go back to bed. Hey. Pray. Pray. Or go for a run and come yeah, back. Come and, you, back. Know, you, yeah. you know, I believe in evil as well, but the evil believe that I believe well. in mm. is not spiritual shit. It's, the it's evil the that I believe in is, is the corruption is evil. Yeah. Yeah. You lying is the evil. Will, the, the you know what I mean? That's what I consider yeah. evil. Ah, me, yeah. I believe that there's evil, there's evil. evil. There, there is evil voodoo. Entity. There yeah. is juju. There yeah. is spiritual power. If you believe in it, it will happen to you. It's not about happening. It's you calling it what it is. Listen, eh? I'm not talking about people disappearing. I'm not talking about <laughs> committing a yeah. magic stand, but yeah. just turn into a bat and start uh -huh. flying away. No. There are people there, there's evil in this world. Like yeah, what? And in, it's them serial killers. Serial killers all over like you call that. No, no, no. Like, no that's she's evil. saying that she's she's not not saying that. Evil. Not physical. That spiritual. Spiritual. Like what? Give me an example. Because yeah. even, at, me. even at the dawn of time, as there was good, there was evil. Mm -hmm. It came together. When you say they when you say there's just Christ, there, what's the opposite of just Christ? There's white. There's there's Satan there's Satan now. They were all they were all God's children. You did not know that Satan, uh, Lucifer, was a, yeah, was, was a child of God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He was also God's mm -hmm. child. He was a creation of God. Mm -hmm. As you have God, Jesus Christ, as an amazing human being who came to the world and helped us and and, and was resurrected for our, for our sake, you have the devil mm -hmm. who does, is out here to still kill and destroy. Mm -hmm. And from him stems all these spiritual powers and all these mm -hmm. principalities and all, that it go does, into the world and that. destroy. Mm -hmm. They are the ones that inhabit the hearts of all these fake pastors that make them now say, oh, your mother is a witch. Yeah. Your child, after looking for a child for 30 years, you finally have a, a son. He will come and say, that son that you have, that two-year-old boy is a witch. Mm -hmm. Then you now send the child yeah. to the, you now kick the child out. Mm -hmm. So now who's the and witch? Then, a, and mind you, you're not, he's not telling you, bring the child, let us deliver this child so you can have your child. No. Mm -hmm. Sending you scared. send him out, because when you send him mm -hmm. out, your problems are over. Then you, so if, tell me if that is not evil, what else is? Yeah, but do you believe in miracles? Evil. Do you believe in miracles, Charlie? Yeah, but I... If I, you believe in miracles, then there's evil. Oh, okay. No, but the miracle okay. that I believe in... Okay. That's, that's it. Should, 
on your nyach and then it will happen. Mm. No. You, you, you still have to, you know, put in your work as well. There are forces and God in this world. There are forces. forces. Yeah. There are terrestrial powers so, that so, exist. So what's Whether going on in the picture? What is going on in the picture? Okay, so this, this little boy, um, he was two years old when his parents kicked him out. Right? Mm. Mm. And he was malnourished, mm. walking around. He ate whenever he saw something to eat. If he didn't say anything to eat, oh well, that was it. He was all at the brink of dying when this lady, her name is um, Anne, I think. I believe her name is, uh, give me a second. I, she's I no just, white lady. She's, um, and even that, she's that, from that, Austria. That white and she, she, had mm. a, um, she, had a, she was part of a charity and mm. she found the boy. Mm -hmm. um, the next picture shows where she actually saw the boy and fed him water. And then the boy. And this is how mm. the boy looks now. That's she, Koshoko, actually. Like when you are, yeah, Koshoko, when you are more. This is malnutrition. The boy, well, this is how the boy was on the street. No, no mother, no father, no nothing. Fat, just walking fat. back and forth. And look she found him. Now. And look Aww. at him now, looking okay, doing okay, obviously. Yes. Being as still a witch, obviously. The boy is still a witch. <laughs> yes. Because if if you're not solving the problem, yeah. you can't you can't get rid of a problem by throwing it out. It's not going to no. get solved. It's going to be there. Mm. Yeah. You don't stop a fire by closing the door and say, no. okay, the fire is going to stop burning. No, right. it will take but, the, the whole house down. But Rosie, you, you made a point. You said mm. the white saving the black yes. men again. Can you explain I, you that? Know, and then we are feeding into that white savior complex by doing this to our people, right? Mm -hmm. Throwing them away and everything. So then a white person or white people are coming to save us. And then mm. we are, that's why when white people enter, you ever seen a, in, a, in, Niger, in a Nigerian restaurant, when a white person enters the restaurant <laughs> and I enter the restaurant, I don't go eat till, till the white person <laughs> eats. True. Ah. And it's so shady. Like, mm. literally, they really... Ah, oh God, thank you. Ah, oh God, oh God, I see. Uh, I'm like, ah. So who are you blaming them? Because it's I'm not, blame, it's, I'm not blame, it's, it's not their fault. It's not their fault. But the thing about it is that it's ignorance. It just goes down to ignorance that you think that something is not what it is. It's across the board with the witchcraft, with everything. Is that there's an ignorance that they have learned. It's learned behavior. No, like a, like a baby uh, when when two, when two babies are born, a white or a black, they don't hate each other. But their parents innate. It's your parents that are teaching you witchcraft. Mm -hmm. It's your parents is making you believe this way. Mm -hmm. It's literally Literally society. parenting and society. So until we start to change those dynamics, we're going to continue having this witch here, this witch there, this warlock there, and this and that, right? Mm. Uh, p pictures like this get some people really upped up, but mm -hmm. you cannot be mad. You mm -hmm. can't be mad because you're not helping your own. Yeah. You're not helping your neighbor. You're not helping your friend, and they will come in and help us. Mm -hmm. And so you, we can't really get mad at this picture, like, oh, a white person is coming in to save. My, a but, 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 but Charlie, you're not right. I mean, talking about us or just talking about just people in general? People in general. I'm because, just saying people in general. Because in, because that's why I think that all of us here that sit at this table should do something. Like that's why I always say that we should always go back and do something. Mm -hmm. Like for instance, I am helping rebuild the school in Liberia mm -hmm. that I saw. Congrats, that was the, that's good. The, the James Stewart School in Liberia mm -hmm. that was created. And the thing about it is you have to start giving back and you mm -hmm. have to start doing and teaching and ad advising. I think that when people, like you said, people have, should comment on the comment box. If they need resources, need have questions or whatever that we can answer, let's answer them for them. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes when things are happening to people, they don't even have people to talk to. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. so, you know, like where do you talk to, you know, and those things. And government really have to create infrastructure. If they're not so busy lining their fucking stupid pockets. I'm sorry. She's mad, y'all. She's <laughs> mad, y'all. I'm sorry. But yeah, they're lining their pockets instead of taking care of these simplistic needs. Mm -hmm. How much does it cost to take care of this one child and his mother? How much, really, mm -hmm. would it cost? Nothing. The whole religious yeah. so high. We need to definitely draw the line. Yeah. Between. Yeah. Religion the same, is the same it plays a major part, us. though. <laughs> mm -hmm. The same religion the white people gave See, us. That, which kind of takes me back to, to what he had asked. This is yes. the reason why it cannot. we can't get rid. You were saying something about um, them merging Christianity and paganism, your grandmother. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why you can't get rid of it because we grew, the foundation of, of Nigeria was on on our traditions mm. before the white right. man came with Christianity. Mm -hmm. And now we've spawned Christianity into this, into this, this, this mad industry where they make money at the detriment of people. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, you have the poor people getting really? poorer, the pastors are lining their pockets, lining. living large, multiple jets, and the, the members are living like witches. Mm -hmm. Are you talking about witches? Have you seen the members that go to these churches? Hey. They are dressed wretchedly, they look yeah. terrible, they don't even have Fasting. food to eat. Giving Yet they lap. take the little 15 naira they have and still give it to you, yeah. and you wholeheartedly take it. You are the witch. Yeah. The people that are leading this mega, this mega, multi, this multi, multi million dollar churches, churches. you're yeah. the witches mm. because you're you're feeding on the poor, you're mm -hmm. sucking the blood of the poor. Right. Yes. So how about you go and go for deliverance, pastors? Before Absolutely. you start telling people we that they pants. need to get they rid of the witches in their household, these images are very sad. They um, are. We, yeah. I, 
I really want to hear from we the viewers. We need to, to hear. And if you have a witch um, story, let us Share know as well yeah. in the comments. Um, we love <laughs> you for love watching. <laughs> Until next time you're watching the AVS show, this is Mina TV. See Bye. you guys soon. Thanks for watching. And if you liked this episode, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you next time.